I really don't want to get up. <laughs> At least today I don't feel like crap. Last couple of days when I've woken up I felt really horrible. I don't know why. I don't know if it was heat exhaustion or like the beginnings of a flu. I don't know, but I feel fine today, so that's good. So yeah, I thought I would take everyone along with me for a typical day here. And Grenoble. and mascara on with um, foundation, but that's it. Now all that's left is to spray on my perfume, and people laugh at me when they find out it's Christina Aguilera, but I don't care. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna be putting together a lunch. I'm planning on packing a salad with grilled chicken. I only have one hand, so I can't do this properly, but yeah, grilled chicken there. And I've got a pile of more vegetables here, just mushrooms, cucumbers, tomatoes, baby carrots. And here I'm making chia seed pudding. It's really easy. All you do is add any liquid of your choice to chia seeds and they sort of thicken up and become really gelatinous. And so it has like a, a pudding consistency. Okie doke. Well, just gotta do up my backpack. Alright, I got my lunch, and my backpack, and my flippy floppies. I like to close the window before I go because the weather here is really bipolar and sometimes it's just raining out of nowhere. Okay, my little cheesy pudding is just about ready. Just has to keep thickening up. And yeah, just got a nice lunch here. like this is what I'm surrounded by every day these incredible mountains the Alps are in the other direction so I can't show you those now but just mountains oh, I'm in love with it here it's so beautiful it's been over 40 days and I still can't believe I'm here it's already starting to get a little hotter last weekend was disgustingly hot like disgustingly hot 
Let me repeat that one more time. It was disgustingly hot. It was like 35 degrees. It was ridiculous. I was like pouring sweat from my face. Here's our tram. Okay, so I made it to work. Okay, so this is essentially what I do when I'm not reading papers and things like that. I'm focusing on the main project at hand, which is um, images that I took using a transmission electron microscope. And I go in, and it's not that tall yet. So previously, I was analyzing this grain here. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's three distinct grains. Those are the ones I'm interested in. This one I've already analyzed, and that yielded this. This took such a long time, um, and now I have to do it for the other grains. So I've had to calculate. So I've had to extrapolate every single one of these values and then calculate the ratio between them. Basically, I'm rotating about the x-axis and then taking pictures um, under TEM, conditions just standard normal TEM, and then also under, I, I'll be honest, I completely forget what this stands for, but there's another condition, I'll look that up in a minute, um, NBD, it's less intense light, and then um, with a condition of precession of 0.3 degrees, so that's when you're just, you're rotating the beam. Um, <clears throat> And we kept that constant, that's the next thing we're going to vary. Um, so what this does is it takes an average of all of the beams going into the specimen. And what we found was this beautiful artwork. So the blue again is TEM, red is NBD, and green is with precession. And as you can see, they all kind of follow a similar pattern as you rotate about the x-axis and the green line, the precession, is in fact sort of the median, it's the in-between average value. This took so long <laughs> and now I have to do it for the other two grains, so I'll show you guys kind of the report that I've been working on. Uh, da -da 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 -da. This is previously, we only did um, in increments of five and as you can see that really showed us nothing. Um, so going in increments of one was a lot better and it showed us that there is sort of a, a pattern. Um, so let me just zoom in here. So yeah, so this is the first, second, and third grain that I'm going to be analyzing. I'm going to do that whole procedure now for two and three. A lot of work ahead of me. So yeah, all you do is you take this nifty little line tool and we're going to indicate the profile along which we want um, the intensity to be taken. I'm just going to mark that angle so that it's consistent. It was like minus 123.69 degrees, so it's going to be consistent. And the reason that we stretch it out into the hole is so that we can compare the intensity inside the grain versus the hole. Um, and that's the value we use because depending on how you adjust sort of the brightness coming into the microscope, it could change actually, you know, how much light is being reflected with respect to the hole. Or maybe I should explain what this is. Sorry, this is tungsten carbide with 10% cobalt. Um, and the reason that there's this space missing here is because what you do, I'll actually draw it out. I need to get a pen and paper. Ta -da -da. How do you guys like my pencil case? Cute, right? And, okay. A sample like this, and then what you start doing is you start polishing and grinding like that. So you polish, 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 polish until this part keeps getting thinner and thinner. 
until it does something like this because you need the specimen to be incredibly thin for electrons to pass through it. So this whole thing that you're seeing, that's this. This is where it's been polished to the point of just obliterating the material. And it's really cool because I've learned how to use an electron microscope, so that's really sweet. School, uh, granola, internship. Let's just go here, for example. So you'll notice as you start rotating, um, you, like, obviously the angle at which the light is reflected off is going to change, and so that changes the conditions for diffraction. Like, isn't that cool? Like, this is all just varying within one degree, and it's already changing so much. Yeah, it's really, really awesome. Um, so yeah, so that's what that little hole is, and that's what we're comparing it to. Uh, so now I'll show you guys the rest of the process. It's really straightforward. Um, analyze. We're going to plot a profile. Ta -da. So as you can see, there's a dark part. That's where the green is. No surprise. And then this white is really intense. And what I've been doing is I do this for every single image from minus 34 to 34 degrees for three different conditions. And I find um, the highest value of intensity here by also saving the profile values and then I go through and search for the highest number um, and then I divide the intensity of the grain by the intensity of the hole and that is how I get this value and then that is what I plot versus the rotation angle and that's it that's my work yeah really quick want to show you guys my video you can see it. The Alps. You can see the Alps today. Come on, focus. I do have a better video of that actually, so I'll put that in now. Um, but yeah, in general I like to keep the blinds closed because it's really hot and there's construction going on here. So it's just distracting. So yeah, I'm gonna get back to work. So I've got salad with chicken and cucumbers, tomatoes, bits of mushroom, and spinach. No dressing because I honestly don't really care for dressing and sauces. Uh, lots of baby carrots. Hey, they match my nails. Nice. Probably show this hand because my nails are nicer there. Chocolate cheese seed pudding. See, it's like thickened up now. It's going to be yummy. There's also raisins in there. And an apple. And I've already eaten a vanilla yogurt without lactose, but that was for a snack. I was really hungry. I couldn't wait for lunch. And yeah, I think I'm going to maybe practice some French right now. Oh, okay. If it'll work. This always seems to happen around this time in the day, even earlier. It's around noon. Um, the internet just gives out because too many people are on it, and it's out for like the rest of the day. So yeah, just on Facebook, chilling, because it's lunchtime. Although I don't think I can even... Oh, there we go. Duolingo's coming up. Log in. Log in. Do, 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 do. Log in. There we go. Okay, got my VPN working because for some reason this does not work normally. My French skills. Oh, I have to redo a bunch of them. It happens. It, it recycles. But yeah. I, uh, I like this dog. The spot uh, takes advantage of an opportunity. It's my kind of dog. All done for today. This is my little office. Bye for now, office. Goodbye. Goodbye. So today was a really good day, got a lot of work done, I'm just going to take my glass off because it's really sweaty and hot, um, had a good lunch, 
Um, my professor also introduced me, not just professor, she's my supervisor. She introduced me to another aspect of the project. Um, so now I'm also going to be looking at the stereographic projections and sort of the diffraction patterns and stuff. So I'll show you guys that. Rotated at five degrees above the x-axis and it's grain number three. Okay, so now we want to import that orientation. I'm going to rename this one grain number three. There we go, and that's the one we want to open. Yep, these are all minus five, just making sure I have the right file. Yep, perfect. And here, these Euler angles match. So we have 38 here and 38 here. Wonderful. So now I get to write them down. So using this information, what I'm going to do is, well, I'm going to take, try and make these numbers as small as possible because this is a really messed up set of numbers, as you can tell. It's not like something nice like 110. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is building one of these, a stereographic projection for tungsten carbide. Um, so what I need to do is reduce these values um, to as low as possible and try and see where they fit along the circle to see kind of what path we're taking as, oh, that construction though. Can you guys hear that? Yeah, I'm in the TEM room right now. Anyways, so yeah, we're going to see what path it takes as you rotate about the x-axis. That is also my project. And uh, yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to be working more with that software, so I'm really excited about that. Yeah, I mean just this is the walk I take to and from work every day. It's lovely. I've seen one squirrel in this area and it's like red and has pointy ears and it just makes me actually miss the squirrels. Oh, there it is. I don't know if you guys can see it. Where did you go, squirrel? Did I miss it? I can't tell. It's really, really bright. Oh, it's running up the tree. Anyway, made me think of Canada because in Canada there's like 12 squirrels running around all the time. There it is! It's a squirrel! Oh, he's not red. Okay, bye! Now we have to go back up the stairs because there's no elevator. Just like at work. I swear, if I don't have buns of steel at the end of this exchange, I want my money back. So here, um, the floors are actually different. Um, they start at zero, not floor one, and then go up. So I'm technically on the fourth floor. It's a lot of stairs. There's the kitchen, which is a piece of shit. There's nothing in there. And we're home. Need to get inside. Need to eat something. Oh, home sweet home. So yeah, just paid rent for June. Come on. Gonna open up the window. Put all my things down. Sorry, you guys keep getting glimpses of my double chin. It's not attractive. As you can see, I'm like sweating. Look at that. Every day. That is what I wake up to every day. I'm really lucky. Happy, lucky, happy, lucky cat. This was my outfit today. It's very simple. And I really like this shirt actually. Just cute. I really like florals. I don't know why. In particular, can you guys tell I'm trying to get comfortable doing this? I'm really uncomfortable just trying to show you my life. I don't know why. It's a very personal thing I'm doing, and lately I've been very impersonal. So, yeah, trying to get a hold of hang of this and 
man, I'm really sweating a lot. I need to wash my face and get ready to go out for karaoke later tonight. That's gonna be exciting. I'm really excited about that. Yeah, so right now I'm just going to eat something, probably more chicken. Um, and I'm going to sit at the computer for a little bit and then get ready to head out for karaoke. So you guys are gonna see that. That's gonna be exciting. Whoa. Hi, so just got out of the shower not too long ago and presently I'm uploading like a, I was about to swear there, <laughs> a B word amount of videos onto a separate channel just to, as my brother said, put them on the cloud. Apparently that's terminology for just putting files anywhere on the internet um, so I can free up space on my hard drive because it's almost full. Because once again, this computer is a piece of poop. Um, so yeah, uploading videos and working on French. I'm just transferring, like I've got scraps of papers in my notebooks filled out with like sayings and verbs and conjugations and more French here. I want to start using this dictionary. I've got a lot of phrases booked, oop, that was upside down. <laughs> I've got a lot of phrases bookmarked in this book and I've got these, uh, two cahiers in French which are meant for children or people like myself who are not so inclined in the French. Yeah, so I'm gonna start writing things down from Duolingo. If you don't know what Duolingo is, just there's a link below. It's fantastic for learning pretty much any language. I think they have all if not most of the languages that are spoken on earth on that website. It's great. It starts from like the most basic and it works right up to giving you a solid foundation. So highly recommend Duolingo. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Cleaned my room, made my bed, just, you know, settling in, ready for a good night's sleep and ready to do that all over again. Um, I didn't actually go to karaoke. I was just, there's so much on my mind and so much that I wanted to organize, mainly also really needed to shower. And so, yeah, just having a quiet night in. So that's a very typical day in my life here in Grenoble. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm probably gonna Skype with my dad now that all these videos are pretty much done uploading and the bandwidth has been freed up. I hope I just said the correct thing because I don't know computers. I'd like to, I would really like to hopefully put some time aside this summer and get to know coding and computer stuff better. It's on the list. <laughs> After French and my project and traveling and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, have a great night and I'll see you guys in the next video on a different topic. I'm not sure what I'm going to cover next, but we'll see. Bye, take it easy.